a quick and thoughtful handmade gift that brings joy and peace all year long, the Serenity Mandala Wall Hanging Crochet Project is the perfect gift. Make one for yourself and anyone on your list. You could also use this mandala motif for afghan shawls or a wrap. I would love to wrap myself in this gorgeous motif. Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful wall hangings. Surprisingly enough, they each take the same amount of yarn. The one on the top uses a sampler kit of eight colors of Be So Serene yarn, and the one on the bottom takes one solid hank of Be So Serene yarn. If you follow the link in the video description, you can get a list of all the materials you'll need, as well as download the free pattern plus chart. In this series of videos, I will be showing you how to read the chart, as well as how to crochet the stitches in the chart, and then how to join them to the metal ring. Let's get started. This is video part two for the Serene Mandala Crochet Wall Hanging. In part one, I showed you how to read the chart, and in part two, I'm now going to show you how to crochet this beautiful motif. I'm going to start with one of the colors of Be So Serene yarn and tie our yarn onto our crochet hook. You can tie your yarn any way you like. I prefer a solid knot. A solid knot. If you prefer a slip knot, that's perfectly fine as well. And we're going to start with a chain six. slip stitch to the first chain at the beginning of the round to join. We now have a chain six, chain one, and we're going to work 16 single crochets in the chain six ring. Insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Our first single crochet is made. You want to do 15 more single crochets into this ring. Sixteen single crochets is kind of snug for a chain six space, so don't feel worried about having to slide your stitches over to make room. That's perfectly okay. We're now going to slip stitch into the first stitch at the beginning of the round to join and fasten off our first color. If you're making this in one color, you do not need to fasten off between rounds, but if you're going to make it in the multicolor version, you will need to fasten off between rounds. Because there are so many ends in this project, I do recommend weaving in your ends as you go too, just so you don't stress yourself out with all of those tails dangling down. So I'm going to go to the back side of my work with my yarn needle and just weave those tails in as I go. You want to make sure that you weave your tail in in multiple directions. It helps to ensure that the ends will not come out. We'll turn back to the front side of our work and we have round one complete with 16 single crochets. I'm now going to grab a second color of yarn. You can do this in any combination you like. You could do it in two colors, ten colors, eight colors, one color. It doesn't matter. The sampler kit has eight colors, so for this particular motif we will be repeating some of the colors. Okay, round two begins with slip stitch into the first stitch. We're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. And we're now going to double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to yarn over our hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, chain one. And we're going to repeat double crochet chain one in every stitch around. Okay, we've come now to the beginning of our round and you want to slip stitch to the top of the third chain at the beginning of the round to join. Remember it was a chain four which counted as a double crochet chain one, so the third chain would be the equivalent of the top of the double crochet, so that's why we slip stitch into that stitch to join. I'm going to cut your yarn, fasten off, and now just to keep things nice and tidy, I am going to weave in my tails before we go on to round three. 
for round three, we want to begin in the top of a double crochet. So we're going to slip stitch to join, chain one and single crochet in the same stitch, chain three, and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. The repeat is to chain three and single crochet in the next double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. On our last repeat, we're going to replace our last chain three space with a chain one and half double crochet into the top of the first single crochet at the beginning of the round. Half double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the specified stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. We're going to fasten off, only because we're changing color at the end of every round and I'm going to weave in my ends before we begin the next round. The next round begins with joining our yarn into any chain three space with a slip stitch, chain one, and single crochet in the same space. Chain nine, and single crochet in the next chain three space. The repeat is chain nine, and single crochet in the next chain three space. You want to repeat that all the way around. On our last repeat, we're going to replace the last chain nine space with a chain four, and work a double treble stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning of the round. A double treble is yarn over three times, insert your hook into the specified stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. We're going to fasten off, and I'll weave in my tails before we begin the next round. To begin round five, we're going to slip stitch into any of the chain nine spaces to join. Chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, we're going to work three more double crochets into that same chain nine space. And a chain one. In the next chain nine space, we're going to work four double crochets. And a chain one. And this is what we will repeat all the way around. Four double crochets in the next chain nine space and chain one. At the end of this round, we end our last repeat with a chain one and slip stitch to the top of the third chain at the beginning of the round to join. I'll now fasten off this color, weave in these loose ends, and then we'll get started on the next round. For the next round, we're going to join with a slip stitch into any chain one space, chain one, and single crochet in that same chain one space. Chain three, and we're going to work four double crochet together over the next four double crochets. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We now have five loops on our crochet hook and we have four of the legs, partial double crochets started. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all five loops on our hook and we have a four double crochet together. Chain three, single crochet in the next chain one space. And that's what we will be repeating around. Chain three, four double crochet together over the next four stitches. Chain three, and single crochet in the next chain one space. You want to repeat that all the way around. 
I'm at the end of my last repeat. I finished my last chain three space and I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Fasten off, weave in my loose ends, and then we'll get ready to start the next round. For round seven, we're gonna join with a slip stitch into any chain three space, chain one, and single crochet in the same space. Chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, and that's what we're going to be repeating all the way around. We've worked around and on the last repeat we're going to replace the last chain five space with a chain two and a double crochet in the top of the single crochet at the beginning of the round. The chain two double crochet is the equivalent of a chain five space but positions us in the top center to work the next round. That would be applicable if you're doing this in one color, but because we're doing it in multiple colors, we're still going to fasten off at the end of every round to change color. I'm gonna weave in my loose ends and then show you the next round. We're going to join our yarn in any chain five space with a slip stitch, chain one, and single crochet in the same space. In the next chain five space, we're going to work nine double crochets. and single crochet in the next chain five space. And this is what we will repeat all the way around. We end round eight with nine double crochets in the last chain five space. Slip stitch to the single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Fasten off. And then I'll weave in my tails and we'll begin round nine. For the next round, we're going to slip stitch into the first, second, third double crochet of the nine double crochet shell. Chain three, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet in that same stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, chain five, skip one stitch, and then work two double crochets each in each of the next two stitches. So we skip the one. Okay, so of that nine double crochet shell, we skip two stitches, chain three, double crochet in the third, two double crochets in the fourth, chain five, skip the fifth, two double crochets in the sixth, two double crochets in the seventh, chain one, and skip the eighth and ninth. We're also going to skip the single crochet and the next two double crochets on the next shell. So we're skipping five stitches with that chain one, and then the repeat is two double crochets in each of the next two stitches, chain five, skip the next stitch, two double crochets each in the next two stitches, chain one, and skip five stitches. And you want to repeat this all the way around. Our last repeat is finished with a chain one and slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. I'm going to fasten off, weave in my loose ends, and then we'll get ready to start the next round. In round 10, we're going to start the beginning of the round with joining with a slip stitch in any chain one space. Chain one and single crochet in the same chain one space. 
Now working in the next chain five space, we're going to work double crochet, chain one, six times. and one more double crochet in that same chain five space. So it's a total of seven double crochets with a chain one in between each of them. So it's double crochet, chain one times six, and then double crochet again. Then we single crochet in the next chain one space, and that's our repeat. You wanna repeat this all the way around. We're going to finish the 10th round by slip stitching to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. There is one more round to this motif. Make sure you come back for part three of the Serene Mandala wall hanging video series. In the third and final video, I'll be showing you how to crochet the final round of this motif and we're going to crochet it onto the metal ring as we go. Download the free pattern and chart at the link provided in the video description. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos.